Hello, hello, this is Rod Live Within Your Means. Hey, I'm going to be cutting up the rest, peeling and, and cutting up the rest of this uh, rampicant or trombone squash. And uh, then I'm going to be pulling the, the part I've got cut up into what I'm calling yams, or I'm calling them northern yams. I'm going to be pulling those out of the oven here in a few minutes. But before I cut this in half, I'm going to peel it. And uh, that way it'll all, all be done, peeled up, ready to put the rest of that in the oven. And uh, we'll just get it all done now. But I want to make sure there's plenty of yams for today, for whoever comes over to Mom's, not only today, but also for those that come over there tomorrow. And uh, so I'm peeling this up. Hopefully you can see this and... Get this guy all peeled up. Now, sometimes I cook these squash and just cut up, roast them without peeling them. And, uh, and I don't have any objection to eating the skins because when these are cooked, the skins become very tender and I, I don't mind just chewing those up and getting the extra vitamins out of those. This is a colorful uh, squash and you'll notice that the color is similar to carrots. It, uh, most likely has carotene in it, just so you know, which is good for your eyes. Many other vitamins are in these vegetables, but uh, in particularly, uh, in particular, I want to just mention the carotene, carotene that's in carrots that helps your your eyes. And uh, I think that might be vitamin A and retinol, but I'll be honest with you right now, I'm not certain about that so get this all peeled up and then we'll cut it in half and we'll scoop out the seeds that are in the middle now this is a squash that was just picked a couple months ago in October today is what the 24th it's the day before Christmas 24th of December and uh, these will last throughout the winter uh, these will, the butternut, uh, and remember this is called a rampicant. Some people call it a trombone squash because, you know, it's long, like a trombone, got the big bell part at the end, even though it's really a big bulb. And this is the bulb on this big squash, so. All right, come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. That's really feels good enough and we'll put all this in the garbage some of the peelings went down here into the sink I want to grab those out of here and wash this back out we keep the the rinse rack the, the dish rack in in this sink and uh, it works out pretty good all right, let me put all these peelings into the garbage. So now I'm going to cut this open for you to see. And, yeah, figure out how the best way this is to do this. See the seeds in there? I'll just cut each of these open. Look at that juice. Hmm. It's like carrot juice, isn't it? Kind of. Uh, <clears throat> these are more like yams. They are sweet. Sweet and good. <clears throat> Carrots might be a little bit sweet, but I don't find them to be that sweet. So, and I just grabbed an ice cream scoop. This works really good to scoop the seeds out of this. And I peeled it first because it's just easier to peel the outside when it's a big bulb than it is when it's in pieces. So, all right. So there's the seeds out of one part of it. I cut this, basically this bulb into four pieces here and I'm gonna cut this up a little bit more after I get rid of these seeds. I 
I don't need to save any. Oops, just had a bunch go on the floor. Oh, and a bunch more. So I guess I'm going to be cleaning up some seeds on the floor now. Darn it. I hope you can see this okay, and I'm sorry if my arms and everything are in the way, but <clears throat> scooping this out, and uh, I just know this is going to be a pretty darn sweet squash. If you've ever had butternut, like I said, they're closely related. These are like a really long butternut squash. And you can cook it up put salt and pepper on it. Butter, salt, and pepper, or you can cook it up and you can put brown sugar on it. Depends on how, how you like things. If you want a savory taste or if you want a, a sweet taste. Into the garbage this goes. Let me rinse this board off. Then we'll do a little bit more cutting up. Okay, now we'll cut this up into other pieces here. Now this doesn't look like yams, right? This part of the ball. And so, uh, you know, that stem can look like yams. This really doesn't. But I'm gonna Cut this up into pieces anyway. Hmm. Just have different size pieces here for some variety. that sink out yet so I'm gonna rinse them off when they fall in there until I get everything cleaned up and you can see I mean that's quite a quite a bunch of yam or a sweet squash those are really good size but now I'm gonna put a little bit more butter on this I'm gonna pull the others out of the oven they're probably about done and uh, I'm going to melt a little bit more butter and pour that all over this. And you can use olive oil if you don't like butter, and that's just fine. There we go. I just cooked the little end piece in the microwave just for just for a couple of minutes, and let's just see how that tastes. Get a bunch of butter on this, but mm -hmm. relatively sweet. It's not quite as sweet as butternut. But when all, all that brown sugar's added, melt some marshmallows on some of it. It's going to taste like you know. So, so here's this other bowl. Now I'm just going to put that melted butter all over this. And I'm going to stir this up. 
And then we're going to pull the others out. I'm going to put this in. I could have put it all in at the same time, but we had a call scheduled to speak with some grandchildren. Okay. Let me take a look over here. Pull these out of the oven, and uh, hopefully I can see that well. There we go. Ta-da! It's been almost 45 minutes. Let's take a look at these and see how they look. Pull these out. I'm going to put these in, and I'm just going to put a plate on the top of this instead of foil. I really like just. Using a Corel plate on the top of the bowl, it works well. And in that goes. And let's take a look at these and see how they look. Mm. Now th that one I didn't put the brown sugar on. This one I did. I'm just going to use a spoon to try these. Oh yeah, they're nice and soft. Let's see if you can see this very well. I'm going to pull this over closer. There we go. All right. So, lower this down to get in a little bit closer. So these are the yams that have... Hey, Google, stop. They had a little bit of brown sugar on these here. And I'll tell you how that tastes. So, let's see. Where is the lens so you can see this? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're good. Now these have just the butter on and you can you know, you can add salt and pepper on these if you want or you can put brown sugar and, and uh, marshmallows on them. So. Mm. Now, all, all you do to finish these up is you put some brown sugar on and they have a little bit on them I didn't add a lot but I'm gonna add some more brown sugar so I used almost a cube of butter between all three things of, uh, of these yams so which are really trombone squash right so we got the brown sugar on there and then on top of that I put these marshmallows on top So you can put these marshmallows on top and you can put them as thick or thin as you want. My mother really likes them and dad and my brother. So I'm going to have these on top. And all you do is put this in the oven. I'll be taking this over there. And you just put this in the oven and turn it on broil for just a few minutes. You've got to keep an eye on it. If you look back on another video a year or two ago. I actually uh, had some in and lo and behold they not only browned then they turned black because they started on fire and there were flames going on when I opened up the oven and I think I got that on a video kind of exciting when you got flames coming over all over and you didn't plan on it but I'll have these on here and uh, just brown those for a few minutes just uh, over at mom and dad's I'll put them in the oven just for a few minutes and and they'll brown on there melt all over and <clears throat> and a lot of people like that my wife's not like I said she's not thrilled about the uh, browned marshmallows on there melted marshmallows but that's how you do it so this is Rod thank you for your comments liking the video below and uh, this is Rod liveth in your means and have a wonderful day